Hello. Today I would like to talk more about Phase 3 gearing for Arcane Mages since Blizzard has finally announced the end of Season 2 PvP and we have gotten to look at the fight lengths of High Jaw and Black Temple on the BTR. In my last video I talked about the progression between pre-raid best and slot gear all the way up to Phase 5 best and slot gear and on screen is my suggestions for Phase 3. In the video, I stated that all gear sets were made for fights that lasted around 5 minutes, but Phase 3 testing has shown that only two bosses, Illidan and maybe Supremus, will be around the 5 minute barrier or more, with a vast majority of bosses being between 2-4 to four minutes depending on how much your guild pumps. Guilds that parse 90% or more will likely be seeing sub 2 minute kills at the end of the phase, which is good news for Arcane Mages since we have insanely high burst and won't have to deal with mana that much, but is bad news for me because now I have to come out with a series of different gear sets to fit your guild's kill times. On screen is my suggested pieces from my previous video, and again, it is built around a 5 minute fight. So for fights like Illidan, this will still be the best set to run. Additionally, this set will be very good for overall damage since you will regen a lot throughout the 3 hours of raiding, causing you to drink less and AoE more. Some highlights of this gear set is that I have you running healer spirit pieces with the wand, ring, and cloak. And this will put you at 460 spirit, which is extremely high, and you will definitely not run out of mana. The reason this is as high as it is instead of the usual 400 spirit that I suggest is because this trinket gives uh, around 9.5% haste when it's up, which should be up around 60% of the time if you're using the clear cast procs during your arcane blast into improved arcane missiles. Since a vast majority of the fights will not be 5 minutes long, like Illidan, I'll give some other options to choose from. So while this set might be best for 5 minute fights, this next set drops the healer spirit pieces for some more damage. So this set changes out the cloak for some more crit and spell damage, changes out the ring for some more haste and spell damage, and goes back to our phase 1 wand because we don't need that much spirit. So in dropping the 60 spirit, this will probably be best for around 4 to 4.5 four minute fights. And if your kill times are even faster than this, we can go a little bit further and change out our insightful Earthstorm Diamond Metagem, which gives you a mana proc, which is roughly around 35 MP5, which is roughly 35 spirit and 12 intellect. We can change this out for the more typically run spell crit and 3% increased damage. This in general will decrease your spirit value by roughly another 40, so between the Dropping the healer pieces and dropping the meta socket, you're losing roughly the equivalent regen of 100 spirit. So, this gear set, dropping the meta gem, will probably be best for fights that last around 3.5 minutes. And if your kill times are even faster than that, we switch out many pieces for haste. So, the reason we are doing this is because of this trinket again. So, since the proc effect lasts 5 seconds, what we want to do to squeeze out some more damage is we want to cast 4 arcane blasts within this 5 second uh, window. This should enable the uptime of this trinket to go from around 60 to around 80. Again, I have not tested out this trinket, but those are current estimates uh, that I have right now. So since this proc gives around 9.3 spell haste, which is around 9% damage, Going from a 60% uptime to a 80% uptime will be an additional 2% overall damage. And to get our haste to where we can cast 4 arcane blasts within this 5 second window, we need roughly 315 haste, uh, which is 170 on gear, including the 145 proc. And how we get that is that we will be equipping double haste rings. Uh, we will be dropping the Exalted High Jaw Ring, even though it is roughly equivalent DPS to this ring. We need it to hit the breakpoint. We will be dropping the High Jaw uh, Belt also for more haste. And we will be dropping the Phase 2 Crit Neck for a haste neck, so you will have to do some PvP. And so with all these uh, pieces, 
you will be able to hit the breakpoint in which you will be able to cast four arcane blast within this five second window. So I believe this set will be the most run of all the sets that I've shown. Uh, this set will likely be the best for fights that are roughly between two and a half and three and a half minutes long, which will be a vast majority of the kill times. But if you are in a guild that parses 90, 95% or higher, and all your people do with very fast kill times, you can go a little bit further and drop your Serpent Coil Braid for Skull of Gul'dan. So, not many people will be running this. Again, like I said, unless your guild is killing bosses in under two and a half minutes or under two minutes, uh, swapping a trinket that regens you more mana when you use your mana emerald to a trinket that gives you a ton of haste will be very, very mana inefficient, but there are guilds that uh, will want to run this. So those are all the different sets that you might think about depending on how fast your kill times are. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get to them. Thanks.